with Tusk plus one off lane. I, I guess not the double melee off lane is not going to be particularly great. And the Wind Ranger is the final pick. So I'm assuming Stance is going to be put in that support role, yeah. And going back onto the farm afterwards. Yeah, we saw oh, mid lane for one. in trouble. Oh, he really is. Good shout there as the Wind Ranger with the help of Sing Sing on that Tusk. Really get up in his face. And low cooldown. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I mean, the, the cooldown doesn't damage. change much. Oh, mid lane Miracle caught again. The DD room for the Wind Ranger with that shards out from Sing Sing. Monkey Freedom Fighters find themselves a pretty good lead towards this middle lane. Uh, was, because that was like almost two minutes ago exactly that I changed the audio. Yep, so, oh, that's it. He's dead. With the end snare, Riptide and damage out of no tail. Poor little Night Stalker. He's a scary beast, but holy crap. Finish off the recipe, get his Ring of Aquila. Yeah. <laughs> the courier flies all the way to the east. They want Miracle again, mid lane. Miracle. Sing Sing in there with the Shards of Snowball. Grave is available, but Miracle still drops. Fly doesn't get it off in time, and now his life is in danger as well with a Shackle. And that hits out this aggressive play from Night Stalker and Tusk. They are really pounding this middle. Caps hotkeys. There we go. I wanted net worth. But yeah, goes into the jungle. You don't know where he is. Mid lane. Miracles. He dead again. It's a grave at the last second. Turns around to fight up against Sing Sing. Raze finishes him off. And now the Wind Ranger tries the power shot. But is her life over? The Searing Arrows make sure it yep. bloody well is. Great turnaround there. And that was all down to the last minute grave from Fly. Wow. So it's like they're going a bit ahead with the kills. As I said, they're killing a Shadow Fiend, which is one of the better heroes at flash farming back into the game and making it seem like those deaths never happened. And then for Monkey Business to actually get those early kills and for Kingston, I'll be wandering around the enemy jungle. Exactly what you're describing and at the moment. And looking for a kill, he's, he's got Medallion ready, he's got Searing Arrows and Strafe ready and they'll, he'll walk straight into Sentry Ward. He's in big trouble actually. Even with that creep inside him, they're going to take him down. He turns and fights! And at one point, it looked like maybe he finds a trade-off kill, but upper hand here. Because there is no similar sustain on the Dire. They have a global silence to reset the fight with, you know, Tusk and things like that. But there's Dazzle, Heal, Grave, and this mech. With a fish to start things off, the Shackle's not gonna last. The cooldown will slow them down, but that snowball's good! Beaver Knight sings it, gets the punch, and takes down the Shadow Fiend. So, over on this Gyro. Does he go into S and Y? Do you want the BKB from him? Like, what, what do you actually look for here on the gyro? I... I think he maybe just goes S and Y. Oh, there's some fighting happening on in the mid lane. That's a dead dazzle. I, I, I think he goes S and Y. Or forcing back the clinks that, you know, you back yourself up. Ah, oh, forgot that it was in deny range. Something along those lines, but uh, mid, no tail. He is really eyeing up mad here. Misses out on one Searing Arrow, but with a Medallion, it'll be enough. Kills off the Silence to there. Here with a Song, and Miracle, he's running forward, he's got a Haste Rune. Forcing back Sing Sing just with his presence, and no tail, he sees him. The Clink's getting ready. Wind Ranger. And this time they aren't sentries. Oh, there's the Song. Requiem, Miracle, winded up onto Soxka. Here we go. Release the song, kill him. Oh, he doesn't really get that perfectly timed, but they've still got the damage. Miracle pounding into the gyrocopter with a haste still up. They'll heal up and get themselves away. The turn on the fight. Double raise available here for Miracle. Yep, just about, but he's silenced. Can't release it. And Crit will get stunned under the tower. Miracle chased by the snowball. The shards will block him in. And the death Requiem there because of the last word. I'm not sure no -Tail can really continue fighting this. He's dusted up, he's shackled up. And with a grave, Fisher comes out from Moon. Great lockdown here as they turn to fight. Mad, one hit, down, out, and Wind Ranger follows shortly after. They lose their two cores, but Monkey Freedom Fighters lose five. Yeah, they kill the whole enemy team. Definitely worth it. And to be honest, especially considering the things can buy that the scene is like pure luxury because the components don't give you anything, right? Perseverance and plate mail are not valuable items. No tail pops his BKB to turn a fight and sing sing, even with that shadow amulet from Mad. Still drops low. Well, Wind Ranger on the hunt here. Blink already used though, and the rest of Monkey Business on the retreat out. She's gonna keep on chasing oh, him though. She gonna find someone? Yeah, she's got the shackle onto crit with the focus fire now. Weave is out. Oh goodness, Aegis gonna be expended. Oh, the glimmer cape keeps her alive. She runs herself back. And the monkey freedom fighters, they found the jump. They wanted to, like in that situation, surely you want to use the Aegis and the shackle. How did that not latch? 
somehow didn't get itself done. And the Lotus Orb, the Snowball oh, counter. Up. Oh god, it, can he bring- No, he can't! The Fisher means he can't drag him back. Miracle now is stunned up. Song to reset the fight in the back. Requiem. Slow global. Global's there. And Soshka comes in with a call down. Too late now. Turns back to focus fire down. Miracle. Requiem wound up the blink. Echo Moon! He finds them in the middle of three. Soshka turns with his BKB, but the Wind Ranger already dead without the Agency Immortal. And Gyro right click down into Oblivion. As No Tail hunts Mad, hunts Gyro. The Glimmer Cape last stand here not available. As Monkey Freedom Fighters, it's... they lose five heroes for nothing. I don't think it's that harsh for us to, to point out things you could improve when they do come up. I mean, it's flipping perfect, mate. He's a flower. You can't, you can't criticize him. But yeah, I, I think he should, um, especially when you're going for kills, like not all the time, but right, right now he should have auto cast on. He's still going to get the kill, but I don't see a good reason not to. Like, mana conservation is perfectly fine with the, with the Soul Ring Medallion. And this MKB up for, for no tail. The Wind Ranger really doesn't stand a chance anymore. Wind Run does not give you the safety. That's uh, the umbrella of healthiness. And now, the two lanes pushing in. Naga Saren splitting top. What has she got? Gem. Gem with the Lotus Orb and Arcanes. No tail down at bot. The Snowball comes in. And he'll actually keep him on lockdown for a decent amount of time here. Moon can blink Echo. Still waiting for his time to shine, but Clinks is already dead. His Mega Streak actually taken away by the Silencer. Miracle wrecks up. The BKB's popped and stands his ground to fight up against Soshka. The Glimmer Cape's there, but the Sentry's down, and now the... Oh, Moon again! Fisher blocked. Snowball to turn it back. Blocked out and reversed by the Lotus Orb as Crit rips apart Sing Sing. All it takes is a Shackle Shot to really try and turn this fight around, but I don't have the damage anymore. With Gyro dead, their main source of damage output just gone. And they're just comfortable doing that. Why... Why put themselves in any kind of risky position whatsoever? Well, Mad was in a risky position. He dies. The gem's on the deck as well. Naga, double gem, double gem. There we go. Mentioning they go four mid, they go one on the side lanes, and they take a free tier three. And now with no glyph, that's an open lane of racks that they can actually go in to take. With no gem over on the dire, they need to sentry, they need to dust. That's why Mad the Sansa buys himself some more sentries. Meanwhile, middle lane, you know, Miracle just stands there. He's got Grave behind him, he's got Shackled up though. Now they see the Wind Ranger hits. But the Song of the Siren sends them all back to sleep and Miracle walks it off. If they do push forward to try and contest this, there's even the Blink Echo Slam, no tail. Shackled. He's got no mana or cooldown here on his invis, so he will get brought down eventually. Just takes a matter of time. Question is, do Monkey Business want to continue fighting Moon? Prepping, looking for the opening. Wants the Blink Echo, now's his time. Blink in, jump and find it, gets three. The damage output's good. Soshka, Mad, and Yapsor all on the retreat. And this might be two lands of Rax actually here with no buyback on your Wind Ranger or your Tusk. And that's a ranged creep getting used by Moon Meander. Probably not what he was yeah. aiming for, but... They, they, they got the even after Klinks died, I feel like that was still a, a good trade for Monkey Business. And then they get a bunch more kills and maybe more here. Because no tail had gotten their axe anyway. And now because of those extra kills, they'll finish off the second racks. They might want to challenge for these mid ones too. They know that the global silence is not ready. They know that the cooldown is not ready. With AC finished on the Shadow Fiend, I can see nothing but them walking high ground here. The minus armor, the tankiness. Shadow Fiend with, you know, 200, 300, 60 damage, whatever it is, a million damage. Can actually just stand here and tank it. Takes down melee. And is he afraid? The snowball. Oh, they could try and. Nope, doesn't land. There we go. Snowball returns. Didn't hit, but still, ended. So the Snowball will come back in, the call down on top of Miracle's head, he's just continue fighting through it with a Requiem punched in the air. But his mech and BKB have already been used up here. He's stuck on the wrong side of the fissure. The blink forward, Moon Meander hits a Chris into Yapsor. No Stalker dropping low, but too late now. Turn and fight from Miracle. We'll take one after another after another. Ends with a triple kill and GG is cool. That's it, let's tap out. If your plan to deal with it is by keeping it down, it can't just be those